Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to RV Fresh Look. Ricky B here. I'm here to show you the new Phaeton 40 IH. Uh, before we get started, I want to thank everybody for subscribing and looking at my videos. I do my best to kind of teach everybody a little bit of the RVs. Been doing this for quite some time. And oh yeah, by the way, we did go to Pensacola Beach RV Resort. It was awesome. You on the bay side is the campground. You can go across the street to the blue waters of the ocean. Uh, absolutely gorgeous place. The owner's name is Jim. He's absolutely great person. Take care of you guys. But in any case, I had a good time. I highly recommend that uh, that place because you don't need to drive anywhere. That campground is in the middle of everything. So if you like uh, seafood, restaurants, uh, bayside fishing, uh, beach with clear waters, that's the place for you. All right. So back to the Phaeton 40 IH. Uh, this coach here is a 40-foot motorhome with a 3 horsepower Allison 4000 transmission. Uh, it is built on a bus chassis. It's not a Freightliner chassis, uh, but it's got uh, adaptive cruise, collision mitigation, all the safety features uh, that you would expect in a coach of this magnitude. So let's get started. Alrighty, guys. So right across from me is my kitchen. As you can see, this is optioned out with the dishwasher. Induction cooking, double available countertops. Look at that big window in your kitchen. We call that a box window. We have theater, theater seats that are power. And this is called the Cocoon Ultra Leather. That's the color of this material. And you can see my cockpit here. HD dash, backup camera, side view cameras, power step, ottoman. And then of course I have my sleeper sofa here that does turn into a bed, so that will make out into a bed. Uh, my TV is what we call a televator, so that thing goes up and down. You can lower if you want to see the outside what that looks like. This is called a credenza, so Tiffin makes this credenza. It's basically a uh, table that for four, you get two more matching chairs, this table pulls out, or it doubles as a workbench for your computer. So that's the credenza. Then of course we have the three door reefer that's electric, residential style. They have a pantry that's got a release up here. And then you open it and it's for your cans and supplies, that kind of thing. Right across the bridge, we have our half bath. That's a porcelain toilet, all hardwood doors. Speaking of hardwood doors, so this is all handcrafted wood. So Tiffin makes their own cabinetry in-house, including the slide faces. It's all handcrafted and hand-painted. They also give you the spider control, which allows me to adjust my front, mid, and rear ACs, and also my floor heat as well, my aqua hot system, floor heat on this side. And it can also go on the very end and hit a mobile app and allow me to mirror my phone to this app which is kind of cool. Speaking of the ACs, these ACs, there's that, you can't see them, they're hidden. And what Tiffin does is, on the driver's side here, these are all returns, all the way down the motorhome, behind the driver, all returns. And then passenger side, behind the passenger, all on the ceiling, all, all the way across, those are all my outputs. What that does, it allows efficient cooling. You can't hear the AC, it's quiet. Uh, people love it because it's quiet and it's efficient. So moving on to the bedroom. King bed. Uh, that is a large king bed. Uh, it's actually residential. It's not a camper size. Um, memory foam. And then Tiffin always puts their electronics back here in the bedroom. They all come with the Wally box and then a Blu-ray DVD player. go to the back look at this shower this shower is ginormous as I call it got a built-in seat for shaving your legs you can adjust the shower to your height it's one piece porcelain toilet vacuum flush and then of course we have our closet here and a safe to keep all of our cash if you have any left over and of course I have my stack of washer dryer here as well Uh, his and her sink, or some people call them a Jack and Jill sink. Heated tile floors, 
no propane. We'll step outside real quick. I'll give you a quick tour on the outside. Bear with me here. A couple of neat features outside. Is I have chrome plated steps. And I also have my storage compartment. And if you notice, I have a slide tray. And if I close this with your finger and I watch my finger, I'm about uh, halfway and there it closed by itself. Tiffin's the only one that makes self-closing doors. Here we go again. Halfway, a little more than halfway, about a fourth. There it goes. Which is pretty neat whenever you guys are shopping for RVs. A lot of these you have to slam the door shut. Tiffin, they close by themselves. Sorry for the noise. I had the engine running. Uh, it's got the big Ferrari Cummins I was telling you about. These big tires here. We have the TPMS, which is my tire pressure sensor. And that's going to be on the dash. So it allows you to see the temp. Sorry about that. Of your tire. Something else I want to point out, and I don't know if you folks know this or not. At the very bottom, you'll see water coming out. Look at this water. So that water my AC condensation line. So a lot of these motorhomes, you're going to have the condensation roll off of the roofs and leave stains. What Tiffin does is they take the condensation lines and they hook them up to a hose and run them all down the back so they don't run off the outside of the coach, which is kind of cool. Uh, real quick, it's my wet bay. Power hose reel, 12 volt pump, cartridge for my filtration. That's my 450D. This is my aqua hot system. 450D simply means that I have a line going through the block of the engine so that my engine's hot, I have hot water automatic. But this baby here is what pumps all this glycol through the coach to warm me up. In addition to that, you also have the heated top floors. But if you see a 400D, it doesn't go through the loop through the engine. The 450, it does. And all it does allow you guys to have hot water driving on the highway, you pull over, you don't need to turn on the hot water because it's already hot it's going through the block. That's the Aqua Hot 450D. One more thing, so I don't bore you guys, one more thing. If you guys are out and about and you can't get your slides in because the controls aren't working, Tiffin gives you a fail safe here in my breaker box. You can see it said slides ready. I can retract or I can extend. What I do is I put a ballpoint pin in there and I make sure that I'm clear wherever that slide is, and then I hit those buttons, and these slides will close or open, which is a neat, nice thing to know. Uh, if you tell your friends, if you have friends that have these stiffens, that they'll do that for you as well. All right, we're going to run back inside. We're going to go by the engine. Guess what this is? A Faden XSH. Okay, so that's basically the bus chassis, what that means. Heading back in. Now Tiffin's going to make a few changes for 23. A few changes are no more Swintec slides. I'm sure if you guys have heard Swintec, that's that slide mechanism you have the motor. So a lot of these Swintec slides will bind up, so they're getting away with it and they're doing all hydraulic. Uh, which is good and also no more satellite so you also you will have a prep on the roof for a satellite dish but since everybody's streaming now they're like you know what we're just gonna have the prep up there for the satellite dish if you want one we can put one on but that's an option now. okay well guys I hope you enjoyed I try to make this videos not too long so I don't bore you but uh, if you guys have any questions as usual please comment subscribe and uh, let me know any questions I'll send them out to you so until next time, thank you guys. Happy camping. Take care.